Hi ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we are taking a look at a practice. Uh, I normally don't help you guys with the practices too much, but remember this one is very hard um, for people who did not, uh, were not in class or did not get a chance to watch me solve uh, 1A and 1B. This video is for you. I'm going to go through the steps to solve these. Um, all of the other problems, 2, 3, and 4, you can base off of what I do in question 1. Uh, now remember, I did not leave enough space here. You have to do it on a separate piece of paper. Just make sure you label um, your question numbers. So right here is where I did the problem out. So you'll see I did write some information there to help me. I wrote the balanced equation. Um, I have the, the, wrote the amount of grams that I'm starting with. So remember when we're doing these mole ratio questions, you are always going to have to convert the grams that it gives you to moles. So that's what you see me do right here. I take the 410 grams of calcium nitrate and I set up the T. Our grams are on the bottom, our moles are on top. Uh, you have to plug in the values. Uh, what you need to remember is that we find the mass on the periodic table. Whenever you find the mass on the periodic table, it's always the mass of one mole of something. So after you find your mass solved, you should find that we have 2.5 moles of calcium nitrate. The second step is to take the moles from the first step and to convert it to the moles of what's in question. In this, que in this question, it's moles of calcium nitrate to moles of lithium. We know it's lithium because right here it tells us we're trying to ultimately find grams of lithium. So to do this um, step we use the mole ratio. Um, so this is your mole to mole conversion as you can see. So we take the what from part A from first step and we write 2.5 moles. If we want our moles to cancel they'll be on the bottom moles of calcium nitrate and then the moles of lithium will be on top. Remember guys you have to write the molecule or the atom otherwise it gets really confusing and hard for me to follow your work remember the coefficients equal the number of moles so next to the Li you're gonna put a 2 next to the calcium nitrate you're gonna put a 1 when you solve you should get 5 uh, and then lastly now that we're in moles of lithium we can now go to grams remember once you're in moles you can really convert to whatever you want so that's what we do here so you have your moles moles cancel be on the bottom grams will be on top remember guys whenever you have grams you always have one mole and that's because when you look at the periodic table it's always the mass of one mole when you plug in your values and solve, you should get 34.71 grams of lithium. So now we are on to part B. Part B is asking us to find the grams of each product. So the first step, again, um, we are going to use these three steps. So the first step, again, is to calculate the moles from grams. So this is from part A, 2.5 moles of calcium nitrate. We already did that right here, so there was no need to do it again. Um, next, uh, next. So remember, uh, I did write out a couple steps here. So once you're in moles of calcium nitrate, we have to go to the moles of the product. So remember, you have to do it twice. You have to go to each product. The first product is lithium nitrate. The second product is calcium. Again, we see there right here. The products are on the right side of the arrow. And then after you're in moles of the products, you can go to grams. So that's what you see me do right here. The first fraction, I'm going from moles to uh, moles of calcium nitrate to moles of my first product, lithium nitrate. Remember, these values will be the coefficients. You should get 5. Um, so what I did here was I set up my next T um, without writing another line. So I set up my next T, and in this T, I'm converting 2 grams. Uh, remember, whenever you have a mass, it's always the mass of one mole of something. You, then you add up the mass on the periodic table and plug that in here. When you solve, it should be 344.725. We did the same thing for calcium. So we converted the calcium nitrate to moles of calcium. Remember, this is your mole ratio, your coefficients from the balanced equation. Then uh, afterwards, we can after we find our moles, we are now going to convert to grams. So remember, the mass on the periodic table is always one mole of something. And you just need to look at the mass of calcium. When you solve this, you should get 100.195. Um, that gets you through questions 1A and 1B. Um, you need to base the other 2, 3, and 4 off of what we just did. Um, remember, the only things that change will be the amount you're starting with, the reaction, and then the products. Um, I hope this helps. Please, if you have any questions, circle them and bring them to class.